Mark chapter 10, verse 17. Up to 22. I have got the King James Version. It's mostly not a, a, a English that we like to hear. Someone who have got the New King James Version or something like that can read for us. Or maybe Mark chapter 10. Mark chapter 10, verse 17 to 22. Mark chapter 10, verse 17 to 22. The headline says, The rich young man. As Jesus started on his way, a man ran up to him, fell on his knees. Before him, good teacher, he asked, What must I do to inherit eternal life? Why do you call me good? Jesus answered, No one is good except God alone. You know the commandments. Do not murder. Do not commit adultery. Do not steal. Do not give false testimony. Do not defraud. Honor your father and your mother. Teacher, he declared, All this I have kept since I was a boy. Jesus looked at him, loved him, one thing you lack, he said, go sell everything that you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven, then come and follow me. At this, the man's face fell. He went away very sad because he had great wealth. Amen. Amen. Marco, chapter 10, yes, let's follow one another, little ones don't make noise. Kaha omo watu kile munchila, kui ikeye. Quatuncile, Quatuncile, Umo, Wapu, Tikamena, Kaha, Wang, Wuli, and Way, Molongisi, Wakubuka, Bika, Dikapanga, Yuna, Katuane, Mono, Kawe, Kuba, Waya, Ye, Kaha, Yes, Uba, Hade, Helene, in Way, Bikanzo, Wangitumila, Giwa, Yu, Naumo, Wahi, Wabuka, Uvanga, Umoika, Ike, Jam. Unataje ke amezi alisipo kati utsihe kati uringe bupanga bupanga kati uyibwe kati uvangene kati wonge ninginika iso nanoko kaha wa molekele ngwe mulongisi evi yose nje kubinyunga kume kubunike wangu Kaha Yesu wamu tadele, wamu lemene, ka wamu leke lengwe. Una zela chimu, hamoye landesa vyose vi urinario, kaha ukahana kuri bahutu, ambani ukakala na bukuko mwinu, kaha uize na kujikawa. Mbezi anjandi. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We all have heard about the rich young man who encountered Jesus. We can maybe say that his question is looking just like the ones that we pose today. He asked Jesus, what must I do so that I can inherit the kingdom of God? To the commandment that Jesus instructs him that this is what you know is supposed to follow him, he said, I do fulfill it, Jesus. But later on, when Jesus asked him that he should go and sell all what he owned, all his wealth, and give it unto the poor, his face, we heard in the scripture that it became very low and he started being sad. Yes, 
First thing is that all of us, we need to have a question, just like the rich man asked Jesus. It made Jesus feel very happy to hear the question that came from the rich young man. Also, the answer that he gave also made him happy. Because all the commandments, don't commit adultery, don't kill, don't covet other people's properties, he fulfilled them. Because today I'm also happy by hearing from all the congregation members that you also want to ask such a question because you fulfill all the commandments. Upon telling him to go and sell all that he owned, the man felt very sad. Many of us who are gathering here today, but many of us who are gathering here today, we can testify that physically we do possess all the requirements or maybe we fulfill all the commandments. But spiritually inside you, if you ask yourself, do you really fulfill it? That is the richness that Jesus is talking about, that inside you, what is it, that thing or one or two things that you are hiding inside, which is maybe making you not to give it away, to stop you from acquiring the kingdom of God. Many of us, we might count all the commandments. We must examine and study everything and then we ask ourselves a question. Or we have to find out what is that one thing that I don't want to stop. Then upon discovering it, that is now the one that you should ask Jesus to ask him, how must I stop this one also? <laughs> Being rich or wealthy, it's not a bad thing. <laughs> but Jesus, God wants us that whatever wealth that you have, it should also be spread so that you can help the needy and the poor. <laughs> Many of us, we acquire properties, but then they vanish because we are not using it according to how God wants us to use it. God, or oh, Jesus now instructing us that today if you are rich, share your richness or help those who are in need so that God can also If you are gifted with singing, teach the other people also how to sing. If you are gifted in preaching the gospel, teach other people also how to be good preachers. Not if you are a believer and you believe in God, then you don't care about other people. Jesus is asking us today that whatever gift that God has blessed you with, you must also share it so that other people who are in need of it can get from it. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, we have got two types of richness. So one type of richness is having things like things like gifts. It's not a bad thing to be a rich person, but when you are rich, you should not overlook the poor who doesn't have anything. Many of the people who are wealthy in the world, they take out millions to give to the poor, to uplift those who are in need. And you can see that their richness never disappear from them. Uh, 
But today the question is how many of us who are having something who take a little of what you have to give to your neighbors because they don't have? We only give to those who are your direct blood family. But, but God is telling us today that we should give to the poor irrespective of their race, culture, or whatever they believe in. Uh, let's now ask ourselves a question. The question that the rich man asked Jesus. Why did the rich man call Jesus Murongi Wamua? Jesus was not somebody who had to exalt himself to appear big or respected. But Jesus asked him a question back. Why are you calling me a good teacher? Because Jesus never liked people to respect him more than God. Jesus told the rich young man that I'm not the very good person, but the most good person is God. The, the instruction now today is that we must show respect to God very much other than respecting only the people that we are living with here on earth. In conclusion, but, the richness that we possess today, whether it is a good richness or the wealth that is not good, we should now examine ourselves. If it is bad, let's leave it. But the gift of richness which is good, let's now take it on so that we can share it with the other needy people so that they can also gain from it.